intermittent fasting. What is it, how to do it, and what are the benefits? Before we get into this episode, let's kick it off with the journal entry prompt of today. Today's prompt is, my favorite city in the world is. It'd have to be a toss up between Dubai and my hometown, London. But if I had to choose London in the summer, Dubai all year round. That's cheating because I chose two. On that note, Viv and I are looking to travel ASAP. I wanted to take her away for her birthday and I was thinking the United States, seeing as we've never been. So if you have any idea where we should visit and what we should see, please comment down below and let us know. United States for your birthday. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> yes? Okay, uh, yeah. awesome. Okay. I don't actually know yet. So hopefully after this episode, I will have some ideas. I did ask the squad if they know anywhere that we can visit and things that we should do when we go to the place that we pick. So hopefully we have an answer at the end of this episode. But would you like to go for your birthday? Of course. Yeah? That's in like two weeks. I know, hopefully I can make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, intermittent fasting, what is it? Well, it's a way of eating that cycles between long periods of fasting and short periods of eating. It's used for weight loss management and in some instances medically to help prevent and reverse some diseases. So how do we do it? Well, there are several methods and we're gonna cover some of the popular ones in today's episode. But first, a very important warning and message. Intermittent fasting is not for everyone. If you have a medical condition, you're underweight, you have an eating disorder or fertility issues, please, please, please make sure to consult a medical professional before you start any type of fast or diet. Let's have a look at these popular methods. The 16-8 method. You have an eight hour eating window and then you do a 16 hour fast. Now, typically most people will skip breakfast, have their first meal by 12 and their last meal by 8 p.m. Now, why this is such a popular method is because it almost resembles our typical day-to-day -day eating patterns. And you can play around with the timings and work your way up to the 16-8 ratio. So for example, you could have 12 hours fasting, 12 hours eating, and gradually work your way until you hit the 16-8 period. Popular method number two is known as the 5-2 diet. But what it is, is you would consume your normal calories five times out of the week, and then on two non-consecutive days, you would consume between 500 and 600 calories. Now, it's recommended that men would consume about 600 and women consume 500, but again, this is up to you. The third and the last method that we're gonna to touch upon in today's episode is the 24 hour fast or the eat, stop, eat method. And what this means is you will fast for a period of 24 hours at least once or twice during the week. So for example, you stop eating dinner tonight at 7.30 p.m. and you won't eat again until 7.30 p.m. the following day. Now, an important reminder, all of these methods do require discipline and it's a good idea to try and track your calories and macros to help prevent you from severely under eating or overeating, which would most definitely impact the results that you desire. Now, let's really quickly talk about the benefits before ending today's episode. So, what are the benefits of intermittent fasting? Well, there are a lot of benefits, but I'm gonna give you four real quick before the sun sets behind me. Weight loss. It's easier for us to go into a caloric deficit when our eating window has been shortened and controlled. Number two, autophagy. This is a metabolic process in which our cells repair and regenerate themselves by removing unwanted and damaged proteins and molecules. Number three, a boost in human growth hormone and improved insulin sensitivity. This makes stored fat a lot more accessible, making it easier to burn fat as a fuel. And number four, studies have shown that intermittent fasting can help reduce inflammatory markers. Those are just four benefits out of several. I'm gonna try and list some more on the screen. Now, very quickly before I end this episode, there are some things that you should be aware of. Drink plenty of water when you're doing your fast. You can have coffees and teas, as long as you don't add sugar and milk, as these can boost your insulin and break your fast. Also, if you're gonna train during this period, consider having high protein diet or taking BCAAs as a supplement to help prevent muscle breakdown. Now, whilst losing muscle mass is not likely or hugely likely, it is possible if your nutrition is not on point. So those are some of the things to be aware of. I hope I've covered everything, but again, this is not the most exhaustive video, but it's a great start. If I was to recommend any of the methods, it would most definitely be the 16-8 method. So give this a try, write down any more questions you have in the comment box. And as usual, give this video a big thumbs up, type a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. You know the drill. I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.